Before we get into this Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders stuff, I do want to show you Mitt Romney real quick and just address this. It's increasingly apparent that it would be important to hear from John Bolton. Uh, I, I, of course, will make a final decision on witnesses after we've heard from not only the prosecution, but also the defense. But I think at this stage, it's pretty fair to say that uh, John Bolton has a, a relevant uh, testimony. I think it's uh, increasingly likely uh, that other Republicans will, uh, will join those of us who think we should hear from John Bolton. He's not going to wait and hear from the defense and the prosecution. And Mitt Romney's already made up his mind. Mitt Romney is an anti-Trump Republican. But beyond that, before that, Mitt Romney is a lay down and beg for media approval Republican. And you know what makes that so sad is if anybody out there understands how brutally unfair and leftist and vicious the media can be, it should be Mitt Romney. They turned that guy who was milk toast in human form into the Antichrist when he was running to be president of the United States. And just a few short years later, he's back in D.C. <laughs> like a dog begging for media approval. It is the most pathetic freaking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And I am so sick of Republicans who only want to lose like gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, start winning. That's what we need. The government has grown for 100 years. Why? Because we have a bunch of losers in Washington, D.C. who want to lose like gentlemen. I've had quite enough of that crap. Now, Elizabeth Warren, she got confronted over a student loan. You know, we're going to nationalize everybody's student loans. We're gonna, the government's going to take them all on. She's got Medicare for all schemes. You remember she put out a tweet about it. The student loan debt crisis or the student loan debt is a crisis, and it's only growing larger. This is crushing an entire generation, and it's holding back our economy. That's why I will act on day one of my presidency to start canceling student loan debt and getting relief to families. Well, if you're somebody like the average American family and you just put your kid through school, maybe you saved up for your kid's entire lifetime, maybe even before their lifetime, and let's say you spent 20, 30, 40, 50, $100,000, not an unheard of number to put your kid through school. And then you find out Elizabeth Warren is running for president on a platform that she's going to wipe out the student loan debt. That might sound a little unfair to you, right? Well, it certainly sounded unfair to this dad. I love watching people chew out politicians. They all deserve it, every single one of them. I hope this happens to more and more of them. But look, the truth of the matter is this dad just realized, or maybe he's always realized, but hopefully the American people are also waking up to the fact it's all just about buying votes, people. It's not about fairness. It's not about equality. It's not about helping out students or helping out women or helping out this victim group or that victim group. And you've been oppressed and you've... It's only about buying votes. They don't care about anything else but buying votes.